It's already been a pretty long and grueling week for some administration officials, especially Secretary of State John Kerry, explaining and defending the new nuclear deal with Iran before some skeptical congressional committees. The problem for the deal is that it now heads toward two additional landmines which lie just ahead. One is Republican presidential uh, politics, and the second is the August recess. So on the Republican presidential politics front, you could see how difficult that's going to be as you looked at the uh, hearing that Secretary Kerry was at in the Senate on Wednesday when two Republican presidential candidates, Senator Ted Cruz and Senator Lindsey Graham, were on the committee. He was testifying before, and they really teed off on the deal and attacked it on several levels. And there's going to be more of that on August 6th when there's the first of the Republican presidential campaign debates um, in Cleveland. You can be sure that the Iranian deal is going to come in for a lot of fire from just about every Republican. Uh, on the stage at that debate. Secondly, that leads into the second problem, which is the August recess. The administration had originally hoped that this deal could be voted on by Congress before the August recess, so that it's not hanging out there to be the subject of a lot of attacks and debate at August uh, town hall meetings. That's not going to happen. Congress won't vote on the deal now until September, so that's going to be an additional political problem. This all leads uh, administration officials with a kind of a frustrated feeling that there's not a real debate going on here so much as political points being scored and a growing feeling that the way this deal may be implemented is for the president to use his veto to save it, which is to say chances are good that a resolution of disapproval will be passed by both houses of Congress. President Obama will veto that. And then the, the two houses of Congress are unlikely to muster the two-thirds of the vote of all members that is necessary to override a veto. Not a great way to implement a piece of foreign policy and a big international agreement, but that may be the way this one turns out.